Hi, Ashira Star Goddess. Okay, yes, my voice is messed up. And so I'm going to pop in this cough drop throat lozenger. Um, I'm not sick. The thing is, I was outside. And I was doing something and a lot of dust and like uh, stuff from the tree got in my path where I was like breathing like it got like right here and I was just breathing it in like it it was falling for about a minute or two and I was just in that area breathing in these you know things from the tree so it kind of just gave me like a sore throat and it made me lose my voice but the soreness is gone my voice is coming back so I'm thankful for that it just irritated my throat or something but what can you do you know um, so this video is going to be about, I don't even know what to title it y'all because it's like all over the place, but basically it's going to be about not feeling, uh, certain feelings as a form of protection. Okay. Um, some people call people that feel all the time like empaths oh I feel their pain oh I feel this oh I feel that a lot of people think it's like a gift it's also be a curse y'all <laughs> and the reason I say it can be a curse is because if you feel everything someone else is feeling and they're in a bad place they're feeling low sad depressed mean and you pick up on that and you start feeling that way yourself you're bringing your vibration down and you're attracting those same things to yourself like oh my goodness uh, I lost my job I feel so bad what am I gonna do so you sit there and you you know feel all those same emotions as your friend did and you haven't lost your job but now you're vibrating on a frequency that's being sad for losing your damn job <laughs> so what do you think is going to happen in the near future exactly you're going to lose your job okay so it's important that you don't let these feelings affect you. It's important that you don't take on these feelings when people are around you or when they say bad news or when you see some bad news on the television. It's important that you take whatever news that sh should hit you and transform it, transmute it into good news for yourself. <clears throat> I don't know if this sounds self-centered and selfish, but the best offense is a good defense right and for an example if you make a room spray a cleansing spray for your for your uh, room to get rid of negative energy you know you're making the spray you're taking your time you got all the ingredients out you're putting stuff in it this is just going to get rid of the negative feelings, you know, I mean the negative energy. That's all it's going to do is it's going to get rid of the negative energy. But when the negative energy is gone, it's going to fill its place. Some type of energy has to fill its place. If you can put nothing in here to fill the space of the negative energy that you're trying to get rid of, then what's going to come in? Something that you can't control. So, if you're smart, you take something and you also put an ingredient here that might attract abundance or love or whatever. So, when that negative energy leaves, this positive energy that you put in there is going to come in, okay? So, when you're, when you're around somebody who's feeling low and sad, don't go there with them. Don't go there with them. Just tell them, like if you're a caring person. Some people aren't. But if you're a caring person, it's like, you know what? This is probably the best thing that's happened. You don't know what this is leading to, you know? Losing your job, you might find a better job next week. 
or in, a, in a month from now with benefits and paid vacation. I mean, <clears throat> or, you know, you might, you might have uh, risked, you might have just missed, you know, a big lawsuit for working in this company. You don't know, you know, you don't know what you've been manifesting doesn't include having to lose your position in order to gain something new. You know, how can you get the job of your dreams if you're working at a job you hate? Don't sit there and be mad. Move on, you know. Think of it as a positive thing and say, okay, well then since I don't have my job, maybe there's a job out there just waiting for me with my name on it that I'm supposed to go find or something. Lo and behold, bam, you know. So, don't sit there and wallow in sadness with people. Flip it into something positive because if you're vibrating and they're vibrating on the same vibration, you're going to bring the same circumstance into your life, okay? Now, have you ever uh, seen like very rich, influential, elite people? You notice that they don't care much. They're just like very, very nonchalant insensitive and just because they don't pick up on people's emotions because they know better than that they know if they pick up on you know feeling of neediness if they pick up on if they if they feel sorry for people who are needy if they empathize with people who are needy who don't have anything if they empathize with um you know, crime if they, and victims, if, if they empathize with people who have died and all that kind of stuff, family members of people who have died, they empathize with all that. They already know that they're attracting that and they're going to vibrate that and they're going to attract that to themselves. And these people are like, you know what? I don't want to bring any type of drama in my life. I don't want to lose any money, profits. So I cannot afford to sympathize or empathize with these people. Okay, I can offer them a solution. I could get up on hit on this thing and make a speech and tell them what they should be doing, but I can't empathize with them because that's just gonna bring me down. So that's why, like in times of crisis or whatever, they they bring out a speaker to uplift people um, out of that vibration, you know. But they don't bring them into the very end, you know. They don't bring them into the very end of the situation. They let, they let the news media and everybody else spew all this negativity out so you can start feeling sad for someone thousands of miles away that you don't even know, that you would have never met. Who doesn't know you? Now you're sitting on your couch boo-hooing and crying and hoping that doesn't happen to you or your family. But now that you're thinking about it and vibrating on it, now you're basically inviting it. So after like two, three days of, you know, hoopla on the media, then they bring in someone to calm everyone down and get them to feel better, pacify them. They don't give them something positive or, you know, a solution and fix their problem. They just, you know, say, oh, it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. We'll, you know, we have to do better, blah, blah, blah. They just put a Band-Aid on every situation and... You know, a lot of people feel that <clears throat> a lot of things are done on purpose to raise a certain level of energy to be harnessed, you know. And so, when you get a large number of people feeling a certain way over someone they've never met, putting themselves in their shoes, you know, you're basically saying, hey, here, have some of this. In a convenient way, you know what? Here, have some of this. Maybe some of this will come into your life if you sit here and watch this for a long time. Maybe you'll start thinking it's going to happen to you next. Or maybe you'll get an idea or maybe this subconscious idea will implant in your head and you'll be the next victim or, you know, or you'll know, you'll know the next person that this happens to or whatever, whatever. Or you'll go and tell your friend, oh, don't do that because this, this, and that might happen. And you'll scare them into thinking the same thing and you'll just, you know, spreading it. So, 
what I'm saying is it's not it's not rude and it's not mean to not sit there and empathize with someone it's not you know morals in society and morals and religion are put there to make you feel guilty about protecting yourself against lower vibrations lower energies they don't tell you you know well you should um, transform all that and make it into something that's uh, profitable to you you know and people do that naturally they'll see a bad situation and they'll figure out how to make money on it and they're like oh my god I can make money on this that's how you're supposed to be thinking about negative situations because you can't fix them they're already done all you can do is either turn them into something positive or don't even worry about them and don't even acknowledge them that they exist so I mean you'll see all those silly news stories and people will take YouTube um, and make a remix and uh, uh, an auto tune of the silly news story about some poor lady's house burning down you know after watching the video you don't even realize that somebody's house burned down because you're sitting there laughing <laughs> and vibrating on a higher vibration and you're being entertained so that versus sitting there watching a story about somebody's house being burnt down and oh we lost everything which will make you sad and fear that your house might burn down one day or something like that it made you happy and laugh and whoever made the damn video is getting paid or you know <clears throat> views and popularity and stuff like that so um and, and, you know, the lady featured in the video, you know, is famous now. She has, like, cameos and um, movies, commercials, all that kind of stuff. So taking something negative and creating something positive and making a profit off of it is what you want to do. So don't sit there and sympathize even for yourself. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Think about a way to flip it, make money with it. Flip it and make some make happiness with it. Flip it and turn into love. I don't know, whatever you want to do with it. But... To sit there and wallow in it and bring other people into your mess or, you know, get into other people's mess is a waste of your time and energy and you're only attracting what they're sitting there crying about. You're attracting that to yourself. So, I try to tell this to uh, my husband because he's he's just he's just a big old, he's, he's too nice, okay? He sympathizes with a lot of people, you know? He's one of those people where you give him a sob story and he'll try to help you. Like, oh, what do you need? I'm like, you know what? You're too nice. Every time someone wants something or, you know, needs sympathy or they call you because they know you're going to give it to them. <laughs> I said, uh, why do you do that? Well, I was raised to be good and moral and upstanding. and da -da -da -da. I said, but yeah, but it's, the, it's not profitable. <laughs> and he was like, well, it doesn't matter. I was like, well, it's draining. It's taken away from you. And when you sit there and wallow and feel sorry for other people's situations, you are actually inviting that same type of situation to you and your family. And I'm not having that. That's what I told us, God. I'm not having that. <laughs> I said, it's one thing when you are alone or single but when you have a family you can't be out there doing that especially since I know you know universal law and I'm trying to tell you right now that stop feeling sorry for people stop wallowing in their misery it hadn't happened to you you know be instead of feeling sorry for somebody have gratitude that that's not you sitting over there okay or have gratitude to motivate yourself to a higher level so you never have to be sitting there crying and boo-hoo and because of this this and that you know flip the script well um i can't do that because uh i was raised to be uh caring and compassionate i said you know what compassionate means if you break down the word oh, it means caring no it means with con means with passionate means with passion so you're gonna sit there and be sad and sorry and wallow in misery with passion which creates the law of attraction 
even faster to you when you're passionate about something. Okay, so don't have no compassion. Get away from that situation and flip it around to your advantage or to make you more abundant. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. Thumbs up if you agree. All right.